Hello everyone. Welcome back. I hope you're having a good day today. We're going to be in Life of Fred Butterflies. If you have a butterflies book, go ahead and pull your book out now. We're going to be on page 13, chapter 1, and the title is Kingy Dreams. Fred had pulled out a book about butterflies to read to his dog, Kingy. Fred sat in the corner and put Kingy on his lap. It was five o'clock in the afternoon. Kingy was a doll that liked to draw and paint. He had been working all day on oil paintings. With his little five-year-old voice, Fred was reading to Kingy about butterflies. There were pictures of all kinds of butterflies in the book. When Fred was about halfway through the book, Kingy shut his eyes and fell asleep. Kingy was dreaming. Fred usually sang to Kingy each night to help Kingy go to sleep. Since he was already asleep, Fred did not sing. He picked Kingy up and carried him to the spot under his desk where they slept each night. Fred wasn't sleepy yet. He put a bookmark in the butterfly book and put it back in its place on the shelf. He turned out the light and headed out into the hallway outside his office. Fred is a teacher at Kittens University. He and Kingy live in his office on the third floor of the math building. There were nine vending machines in the hallway. Five of them were on the one side and four of them on the other side. Some were candy machines one offered donuts, one offered crackers, one offered a soft drink called slushy. Slushy is a very, very, very sweet soda. It is mostly sugar with a little bit of water. Fred stood in front of the machine. He hadn't eaten anything all day. He decided not to get a slushy. It sometimes made him sick. Fred did not have parents to watch over him. It's a sad story that is told in Life of Fred Calculus. No one had ever told Fred about eating the right foods. Fred was five years old, but he was only one yard tall. He was as tall as a yardstick. One yard is three feet. Because of his poor eating habits, Fred had not grown an inch in a long time. Fred started to head down the stairs. Hi, said Betty. She was coming up the stairs as Fred was heading down the stairs. I was just going to your office to see you. Betty was one of Fred's students at Kittens. She was one of the first people to meet Fred when he came to the university to teach four years ago. She and her boyfriend Alexander had shared many adventures with Fred over the years. Hi, Betty, Fred answered. I was just going outside to get some fresh air. Kingy has been doing oil painting all day in my office. The room smells a bit like oil paint. Betty said, that sounds like a good idea. May I join you? When they got outside, Fred asked Betty why she had come to see him. She was about to tell him about a calculus problem that she was working on when she looked up at the building. What's that coming out of your window? Betty exclaimed. It looks like little pieces of colored paper. Fred could see better than Betty since his eyes were only five years old. He said, no, that is not colored paper. Those are butterflies. Betty counted nine butterflies that came out of Fred's window. Five of them landed on the flowers. The other four landed on Fred's head. They tickled Fred. Okay, that's it for today. 
Are you ready for your turn to play? Make sure you have a piece of paper and a pencil. Let's begin. Number one. Five plus four equals what? Number two. Four plus five equals what? Number three. What time is it? Number four. Fred is one yard tall. How many feet is that? If you have forgotten, it's okay to look back at the answer. Number five. How many members does the set one, two, three, four, five, six have? This was in Life of Fred Apples. And then number six, two plus five equals what? This was also in Life of Fred Apples. Okay, you can go ahead and press pause at any time. Here are your answers. Go ahead and check your work. And are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you here tomorrow for chapter two. Bye.